Welcome to identifying 241, 42, 228, I don't know, 256, 60, 61% of drops were agony and lightning and purity and cold and ruby rings in that order probably. Oh, you're on YouTube now? Congratulations. If you really want to be on YouTube, you can subscribe and change this name. I'm so glad Insane T did, because the last name was pretty horrific. Okay. Here we go. I'm going to ID all these. People basically told me that implicits don't matter, but they also told me what implicits to look out for, so I'm getting mixed messages, which is fine. I've organized them by um, shit implicits that have no effect. Okay, I did it. Yeah. Ruby be good. People say Ruby good. People say buff effect and damage is all I need to look for. If I get buff effect and damage, then money. But also implicit on top of buff effect and damage make good. So I organized from absolute shit implicit, right, to has one implicit that's a type of damage but not the type of damage they're looking for, to has two implicits that are a type of damage or useful implicits but not the kind of damage implicits that they're looking for, to has three things that are good but not the damage they're looking for, to has one damage that is good the type they're looking for, two damages that are good the type they're looking for, something that's fucking amazing for what they're looking for. So if I get buff effect and uh, damage on this, it'll be way worth more money than if I got it on this, right? Because this one's only got one fire damage, whereas this one has fire and elemental, whereas this one has fire and movement speed, and this one has fire and attack speed, and this one has um, damage while leeching and life, and that's basically, I've basically arranged everything to be awesome in those sorts of categories. Not complicated at all? Yeah! I'll totally work out. Um, highlights are endurance charge on an agony, um, the Ellie weak on hit on a purity, shit, no, that's not a highlight. Um, uh, Intimidate on a Sapphire with Cold and Life. And let's just... I'm procrastinating actually IDing them. But, um... Amethyst, uh... Oh. Okay. Is this worth anything? I gotta... I should look up what, the, like, the buff effect. And this is Awaken Po Trade Macro, probably. I'm gonna get rid of this, and I'm gonna get rid of this. But I'm gonna search it generically. It's 3C. Cool. So let me try it again, but like, put my rolls on it, and it's still 3C, right? Yeah, 5C. Okay, so these are all worthless, right? Probably. Uh, 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 uh. Everything in this category is probably worthless. Let's see if I got another buff effect damage. This is so hard to read. What? That's confusing. So it's agony damage versus chaos damage. What do you want if you're an agony boy? You want agony damage because you're busy tanking while your agony guy's clearing? Is that how that works? Weird. Search. Let me see. Search. Let me see. I don't know how this works. Okay. Just keep going. Just keep going. Keep going. Okay. Fuck. Chaos resistance. Endurance charge. Agony buff effect. Hmm. I mean, is that a max roll? Oh, cool. Buff effect with an endurance charge is... Buff effect that is a max roll with an endurance charge is... 2x, maybe. Uh, let me check these. Just to see what the rolls of the buff that other people got and are selling at. That guy... Oof. Uh, 51, 45. This one's got actual buff effect. Uh, wait, wait, wait. No buff effect. That's damage and buff effects, so that's 4x. That'll sell before mine does. This one won't, so I'll set, probably list mine at like 3-ish. Right? 3. Got Chaos Res. Is Chaos Res anything anyone wants on those things, though? Chaos Res, not really. Is there any Endurance Chaos Res? There is. Yeah, I'll probably list this for like 3x, let me know if I'm wrong. And uh, I don't know, I don't care about the rest. Lightning? I don't have any good rings on Lightning. Is this, we're going to check all this anyway, aren't we? We probably are. This is one of those things where I'm going to ID everything, price check it. I'm going to take like an hour price checking it off camera. And then I'm going to come back and people are going to go, Jim, what price checker do you use? I'm cutting out the price checking part. There's literally a noticeable cut in the video. 
that's when I go price check it for three hours. Jim, what magical price checker do you use? I use my fucking time and my patience, you son of a bitch. Speaking of patience, segue. We started the patient farm. That's what that number is. Two out of 512. We're going to farm armories um, for the next month until we get a full set. And then we're going to use, we're not going to count how many maps we do to how many cards we get. We're not doing it like Burial Chambers. In comparison to Burial Chambers, it's the same farm as Burial Chambers, more or less, trying to get a headhunter. Burial Chambers is shit maths compared to what we're doing. We're going to, ta we're going to take Exod drops and Chaos drops and Patient drops and then compare them. And it doesn't matter how much quant you farm, everyone, like, if you have 40% more chance to get currency drops, you're going to still get them at the same rate as someone with 0% chance, because for every, let's say, magical number 4 chaos, you'll get one patient. So no matter how much quant you get, it's just we're going to figure out the exact drop rate, more or less, of patient cards. And then we're going to use that to interpolate how much GDG thinks what the rarity of a head hunter is when it drops, because maths, that's my selling point. We're done. Does anyone, what's what's the lightning good? Buff effect and damage? Okay. Buff. Buff effect and damage. Mana reservation. Buff effect and lightning res. Nope. Herod of Thunder. Frenzy charge duration lightning damage, maybe? Lightning damage. Get out of here. Buff effect. Get out of here. With lightning damage, get out of here, is 5C. Wow. Anything about frenzy charge duration? Nope. Okay. 5C? Absolutely shit on. Okay, well, I think it's good, but I'm going to put it down here. Uh, radio. Biz? Purities? Anything about purities? Strat again. Wait, that actually makes sense? My farming strat or my IDing stuff? My farming strat is amazing. Compared to burial chambers, like, if I do it once, well, I guess if they nerfed the drop rate, I would have to do it again. But I'm not going to do that again. GG, stop fucking around with the drop rate of things. I did burial chambers 10,000 times, and then you changed the drop rate of the doctor. Did it another 10,000 times, and then you changed it again. Fuck you. Uh, okay. Uh, fizz is purity, so let's just look up buff effect again. Um, damage, purity, buff effect, fizzes, fire. Why is this in my triple mod? If it's an iron ring. My triple implicit area, this, sh this shouldn't be in here. Lightning damage, this is garbage. Is fizzes extra fire worth anything? Eh, it doesn't seem like it. Yeah. 3x, 3 to 4, maybe? Can't think of anything else on the implicits being any good. What's this? Mana reservation garbage. This has got increased strength on it. Uh, but it's got buff effect and increased strength. Let's check. Buff effect and increased strength. Worthless. Yep. Okay. 3x. So what do we got good ring wise? We got this and we got this. And let's say that, but not really. Okay. Moving up to the ones that ever. I'm going to take my time identifying the fire ones. Don't you worry. Really? All of those had buff effect? What the fuck? They're all the worthless ones. And then the slightly less worthless ones. Still worthless though. And then the good shit ones. Okay, now any buff effect over here is going to be good. Nice. And then over here it's going to be great. And over here, damn it. Nothing. Buff effect. Heart of Ice. Damage, fire, max life, early damage with attack skills, max life, buff, damage, life, 3x, let's throw on top some early damage with attack skills, 6x, ish, cold res, cold damage, generic damage, life, intimidate, let's try this, generic damage with intimidate is... 10c, what about with life? Nothing, and then cold damage on top. I have no I have no idea, but we'll keep it because we think it's cool. Get it? I'm waiting for my laugh. Nothing. Anguish? Which one is the anguish? What something about anguish? I don't know. We'll go back for it anyway. Here we go. Jeer Jim, will you ever play a magic fine build again? Uh, what? Yeah. Fuck you. I already am. You mean like a zoom zoom magic fine build? Probably not. 
now that I've got my angler's plate, by the way, I got an angler's plate, now that I've got my angler's plate, I have no desire to, like, keep farming for angler's plates, although I probably will. But next league I want to do, like, um... Oh, this is the ruby one. Uh, buff effect and damage are good, so let's go these. As far as I'm concerned, these are all garbage tiers. So let me grab this and this and this. I'm not really looking, I'm just going quickly. Buff, 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 buff. Buff, 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 and then damage. Damn it. Why didn't that work? Ash. Damage. Fuck you, I can't search quickly. Ah. <sighs> Increased fire damage while affected by Herod Ash. So this is money then? Buff effect and fire damage? Is what people said? Fire damage, ash. Fire damage. Fire... Damage. Why can't I search specifically for that odd? Increased fire damage while. 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 And then in quotes. Okay. So this is money, and this is money, and this is money, and this is money. Cool. Fire damage, buff effect, fire damage, buff effect, fire damage, buff effect. Uh, this one. Is Fizz good? Do they do conversion? Is that how it works for them? That could be good, maybe. Okay, and now... What else we got? I grabbed these ones because they... Oh, these were spell damage with power charges. They were weird, I didn't know where to categorize them. Everything in here is a one damage mod or a life defense mod. This one is... I've already explained it. Fire damage on life or two fire damage types. And then this one's my amazing one that better get a good fucking roll. Okay. Please. Damn it. Oh, that one could be good. I don't know if it is yet, but what was what was my search for it? It was, um, everyone just close their eyes while I move these across. Don't look at the thing. It's easier if you don't, it's more fun if you don't look at what the actual rolls on the things are. Okay, it was, uh, fire damage while, while. So this is good, and this is good, and this is, oh, this one isn't. Rest in peace. This is just buff effect and resistance. Ah, uh, what could have been, you know? Okay, so fire damage, life gain on kill, maybe. Uh, Herod of Ash, buff effect. So we go this, this, get rid of this, get rid of this. Is 5x on its own, and then we like throw on a fucking fire damage implicit, yo. 8x. <sighs> and then, so these are like 6 or something. And that's, I mean, we'll check, we'll check the fizz. We'll see if the fizz adds anything to it. Is it's like ten? What the fuck? What the fuck? Res is not worthless either. This is gonna be so annoying to prize check. People are asking me if I made money on the um, synthesis maps. I don't know, honestly. I'm still not sure. Even with all these amazing items, I'm still not sure. Damage while leeching. I'm assuming they leech. Eight x. Okay. Uh, this one is increased life with the buff effect stuff, which is 8x. Oh, I missed out on the, uh, I forgot to ID the spell damage. I didn't get any that had, like, power charges on them. A lot of people are asking. Let's try this one. The implicit on the other ring? You mean resistance implicits could be worth something? God damn it. This is such a clusterfuck. Let me check my... Elemental damage and fire damage. The thing is, people would, wouldn't would search like this. People would search fire spell damage, assuming that's a mod on the actual PoE trade. I think it is. Fire spell, like, combined, and that would work for that. So they'd search 19 or 20%. So this is a terrible way to price check things. Just saying. Do it anyway. Yeah, okay. But what if... Yeah, crap. Crap, crap, crap. And then these two. With buff. And damn, no, so close. Okay, well, I think these are good, and a bunch of stuff in here is probably good. A bunch of stuff in here might be okay. A bunch of stuff in here might be okay. Go, okay, 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 okay. Don't look at that one. Um, yeah, I'm gonna clean this up. I'm gonna put them all in like a quad tab and then.
put them listed at like 50x and then drop it by 5x every hour and I'm, that's just how I'm going to deal with this situation. Typically, after a farm I just vendor everything, but I don't think I'll vendor these rings, I'll actually price check them or something. Or I'll slap all of these in a quad tab and just list it as public but not put any prices on it. That could work. Hmm. Like, look at it, look. That's... Okay, it's not a full quad, but that's a lot of rings, right? Freed up this, and I freed up this, and I freed up this, and I freed up this. That one was already public for some reason. And that one, and now we just make this public. Move it all the way back here. Go to a new zone to force the API to update. Technically it updates as soon as you do it, but this is like new zone force. There's two APIs. There's like the trade API that path of xl.com slash trade users, and then there's the API they give to the public. If you want to force your store to update to the public API, you go to a new zone, which is usually why people message you to buy stuff the instant you enter a map, because you've just forced the API to update, whereas the behind-the-scenes path of xl.com slash trade API is whenever you modify the item. So if I go like this and grab a blessed orb, if I bless orb a single thing, it'll force the entire thing to update on pathfexo.com slash trades API. But in order to get po poe.trades API to update, I have to go to a new zone. There you go. Now you know how to trade and stuff. 1 8 with 2x iron ring. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, the one good iron ring I got for 2x, oh yeah, that's, that's, that's totes a good offer. Anyway, I'm taking this off public, because I don't want to get scammed a bunch. But all of this, and then all of this from the um, synthesis farm, I probably, I said I was going to craft these, I kind of am really lazy, and I don't want to. But I'll try craft them, I guess. Uh, I'll, I'll sell all of this shit. This ID, this was in the synthesis video, but I didn't show you because I didn't... Like, I ID'd it and ran it through my price checker. My price checker said it was 5C. What? It's not. It's like 20X or something. Don't trust price checkers. The moral of the story is don't trust price checkers. Anyway, uh, back to armory farming, I suppose. What bows again? Uh, um, plus one to socketed support gems. And then this, when I ID'd it, oh, I've been slamming perfect fossils on it to try and get it up to 30%. When I ID'd it, it had plus one level of gems as well. I'm like, for fuck's sake. But uh, it wasn't as good as this one. But uh, I'm going to try and quality these all up to like 30%. I don't know how to craft this. I'll probably just try sell it if it sells for even anything. Um... I'll try craft these three items, and whether I make a video out of trying to craft them or not, I probably won't, but yeah. Everything else is going to get sold. Someone told me this is worth, like, 3x or something, so I'll try to sell that, but... I got a bunch of shit to just throw into, like, a garbage compactor of a human. He's not a garbage human. He's just a person with, like, a really, like, like comically large mouth, and I just cram my good items into his throat, and then, like, two weeks later, he gives me 70% of what they all sold for, because he likes trading, and who the fuck likes trading? No one likes trading. <sighs> What's the requirements on the mace? Uh, 152 strength. Oof. So I don't know if that's even worth anything. Yeah. 